guys, Carl here from TheWarriorsWeather.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some light impact beginner cardio workout that's going to prevent your diabetes risk. And if you've got diabetes, it's going to be working that glucose around the body so we start burning it off rather than storing it ourselves. Okay, so let's just start with a little warm up and a just gentle walk just to get that blood flowing around the body. It's a little bit chilly today so we need to make sure we warm up before we do any kind of activity. We want to reduce our risk of any kind of injury, okay? Just start with a nice little walk on the spot. Just pump those arms a little bit, get that blood flowing around the body, through the legs, up into the shoulders, and down those arms. Okay, we're going to go into a side step with a little bit of a chest fly. Just reach out and step side to side. So, as I said, this is a low impact cardio workout aimed to get your blood sugars down get the heart rate up, burn it some good calories and using those sugars as energy rather than storing it in the body will increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. Okay, let's go reach up now, up to the side, stretch and kick out. Just a little side step with those legs while we reach up nice and high. We've got eight different exercises, so we're going to split that up into four supersets. So we do two exercises back to back, we're going to do that twice before we move on to the next set of exercises. Okay, so let's put in all those four supersets into two rounds. Okay, from here, we're just going to shake off a little bit now, shake off the legs a little bit. Going to give a little bit of time now to grab yourself a drink, make sure everything is close to you before we get started with the bulk of the workout. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds left before we get started. First exercise, all you're going to do is a side step jack. Okay, we're going to reach that with a lateral raise. Okay, similar to what we just did, instead of going out, it's going to reach out. Okay, just single steps. If you want to do it a little bit harder, you can do the full jack, but it's totally up to you, taking it nice and easy. If you want to keep the, the low impact, when we start, step out, raise your arms up. Good. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep it nice and slow if you want. This is your workout. You can go as fast as you like or as slow as you like. The main idea is just to get the body moving and using up some calories. And as I said, using that blood glucose as energy rather than to store it. Good work. A little roll of shoulders. Next we're going to go into a squat and a side kick. And from there, we're going to come a little bit of a high row of the arm. Okay, so squat down, side kick and row. Drop, side kick and row. Just bend the, um, the legs a little bit. Don't have to go too deep because you can go all the way down, that's fine. Just a little bend in the legs just to get that body moving. Good. Keep it going. Last rep, and relax. Shake it off, now we're gonna do those two once more rounds, okay? So that's a super set. So two exercises back to back, we're gonna do twice of it. So side step with the lateral raise. Nice work, guys. So keep it going, keep breathing. If you wanna um, grab a drink whenever you like, that is absolutely fine. You don't have to wait for my beep or for me to pause, like you grab a drink and now, in the middle of a set, and then come straight back into it when you're ready. Even if you don't want to drink, if you need to just pause any time you like, that's absolutely fine. If you want to keep a chair next to you, have a sit down whenever you want. Okay, this is your workout, do it as you like to do. All right, squats with a high row. Little bend, and down. Well done. If one exercise is particularly hard, you can always modify it and I'll always show you what you can do to make it easier. If you want to make things harder, you just go deep and maybe speed it up a little bit. If you want to make it easier, just a little bend in the knees. Or if that's too hard, you can just do about the squat and just do the side legs with a high row. Okay, back step and a jab is next. So you're going to step back. Punch out with the same arm. Drop and swap. Okay, so we're not going into a lunge. 
just a step back and a punch forward. Okay, so again, nice and slow if you want. If you want to take the arms out, if you have any injuries in the shoulders, you can just do that back step, keeping the weight on the front leg. But if you can do the punch as well, great, keep going. The more muscles we work, the more the heart has to pump, and we are working hard. Okay, next we're going to go a simple high knee march. Okay, similar to what we did in the warm up, just a walk on the spot, but we're going to get those knees up. So, from here, to make this easier, if the high knee is too hard, just do the simple march. Try and pump those arms like we did in the warm up. If you can get the high knee, bring those knees as high as you can. Belly button in tight, so we're working the core always. And keep breathing. Never hold your breath, okay? When you hold your breath, that can lead to an increase in um, high blood pressure. So keep breathing, keep that blood pressure under control. Well done, back to that back step and jab. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, back step and a jab forward. Good. So with these jabs, keep up your guard. Keep those hands into your chin. If you've ever done a boxing class, you'll know. Or if you've ever watched boxing, always keep those hands into your chin. Protect yourself. Well done. Punch out, step back. Slow it down if you need, speed up if you want. Good, shake it off. High knee march again, okay? Abs in nice and tight, always working the core. If you want to make this a little bit more dynamic, the high knee march, you can just bring your legs across the body. Or you can just go straight forward. Nice. Puff those arms, get those knees nice and high, as high as you can. Abs in tight, always working your core. In. Just made that up. Nice work. Okay, squat on a high knee now. Okay, so again, squat as low as you want. If it's just a little bend, and then a high knee. But we're going to have a little bit of rotation if you can. A little bend and twist. So you don't have to squat down too low. Focus on the rotation. If you just want to do the high knee again with a twist, that's fine. If you want to bend a little bit, bring the knee up. Or if you just want to bend a little bit and a small knee, that's absolutely fine. If you can go down low, pump the knee up and twist, then great. Well done. Okay, this time we're going to be side step, uppercut, side step, uppercut. So if I'm stepping right, uppercut left hand, step left, uppercut right hand. Good. Be the opposite for you because obviously a mirrored effect. This is my right, punch left. Step left, punch right. Good. Just a little upper gap. Jake Paul, Tommy Fury. Nice one. Okay, slow it down. Deep breaths. We're going back to the squat high knees. You ready? Let's go. Squat, high knee and twist. Down and twist. With that twist, always be coring. Get those ABC. Nice and tight through the abs. Through those core muscles, bring that belly button in tight. And twist, work those cores. All the core muscles, not just your abs, your lower back, your, your obliques. Everything around that whole core is what we're working at. Nice breaths. Okay, side step, uppercuts. We're ready, we're going this way to start. Side step, uppercut. Side step, uppercut. And again, you don't have to go too far with the side steps. Good work. If you want to go faster, you can. Add a little duck. 
Well done. And relax. Breathe. Okay, we're on the final superset. We're gonna go into a side lunge. We're gonna reach forward and we're gonna alternate legs, okay? Step out to the side and reach. Back into the front, side and reach. Inside leg is always the straight one, the outside leg gets bent. Well done. Okay, now this is the last exercise, so the whole workout. But next step, we're going to do stepping burpees. We're going to squat down, hands to the floor, step back, step, step, step forward, and stand up. Okay, alternate legs. Down, down, in, in, and up. Okay? Hands down to the floor, step back into that plank position, step up, and stand up. Nice. Can we get one more? Maybe one more. And relax. Okay. Last superset, now we've got to do those exercises back to back. So we've got to go into a side lunge and then reach forward. Are we ready? Side lunge and reach. Side lunge and reach. Well done. Good, keep going. You can do this last superset. Stay with me guys, don't give up. Just reach. With that side bend. We got it. Come on. Well done. Now the last exercise, those stepping burpees. Take it nice and slow. Okay? Hands down, step back into that plank, hold this plank, and then step forward. Step back into the plank, step forward, stand up. If this is too hard for you, you can just go into some squats. If you want to go to squats again, if you can do these steps, then great. Nice and slow, carefully to the floor. Leg, legs, in, in, and relax. Well done, guys. I hope you're feeling good after that workout. Nice and gentle, just to get your body used to that movement. And if you want to do something a little bit more vigorous, you can do, have a look below in the description of this workout and you can see playlists what I've got, which might be a little bit more vigorous, a little bit more working hard for you, a little bit more higher intensity. Um, but if this is just for you, then stick with me for the beginner's courses. I've got so many workouts for you to do as a beginner. And if diabetes is your thing that you wish to reduce, then this workout is great. And again, I've got some links in the description below for a diabetes playlist where you can do all sorts of workouts, chair-based, if you want to sit down and be a little bit more subtle, some standing up. But I hope you enjoyed this workout, guys. Well done for completing it if you reached this far. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Type in in the comments what you enjoyed most and share it with your friends, share it with your loved ones if they would like to reduce their diabetes risk as well. And don't forget to subscribe so you see my next video with the pop-up. And I'll see you in the next one. Well done, guys. Bye-bye.